The other thing you want to make sure you add when crafting your offer is you want to add value through bonuses and incentives, right? So this can be additional resources, exclusive perks, free access, memberships to enhance the perceived value of whatever the offer is. This obviously is going to make it more irresistible. So a, a few examples of this could be, let's just say you are selling an ebook, right? Create your first ebook, 10 page ebook, very simple. But instead of just selling the ebook, you're going to say, with this ebook, which is only going to be like, say, $30, right? You're going to start off small. It's going to include a free audio book so you can listen to it while you're driving, right? It's also going to include a workbook, an interactive workbook, and additional, let's say, letters, right? Let's just say it's a credit ebook. They add an additional credit letter on how to dispute something, right? You added all of those three things. Now they're not just getting one $30 book. They're getting a ebook. They're getting an interactive workbook on how to actually craft their credit properly. They're getting a letter on how to dispute their credit. Now, you see what I'm saying? It's broadened the value of it. It's not just a book. Now it's a whole interactive experience and they're giving you something to actually work on and execute on now, right? Your irresistible offer should include a bonus that essentially makes them work and makes them do whatever it is that you're, they're purchasing now rather than just intaking information, right? You want to have something that has them execute. This essentially is going to get them results faster, which then continues to believe in your process. And like I said, builds through the actual essential letter. Another thing you want to make sure you're focusing on is presenting the offer in a clear and concise manner. You don't want to sound, like I said, salesy. You don't want to ramble on. You want to kind of be very small and detailed. So using bullet points, whether you're showing them the bullet points or whether you know you have them for your personal use, having bullet points, talking about key features, the benefits, the value of it is what's really going to stand out to them, right? You don't want to drag it on because then they're like, okay, this person is just telling me all this extra information. They're going over and over and over again. And I just really want to know A, B, C, and D, okay? So obviously when having an offer, that's the first step. But then in actually order to make money off that offer, you need lead generation. So Lead generation is the process of identifying and acquiring potential clients for your product and or services for the purposes of increasing current or future sales. So there are obviously many marketing strategies that are used to gain more leads, both organically and through paid marketing. And of course, without lead generation, it doesn't matter how good or bad of a product you have, because trust me, you can have good lead generation with a bad product that still sells. You won't be able to sustain a business without a stable flow of leads. So I'll go over just a few examples of what organic and paid marketing is. So organic, especially in the age of social media, is probably the best way to do organic. The most simplest form is just, you know, meeting people, networking, and putting your name out there. But social media allows you to do that on a much larger basis without the need of paying for ads or billboards or whatever this case is, right? So organic leads is literally you just making content, you reaching out to people, and people reaching out to you. It's as simple as that. Obviously, paid marketing is all the other various forms like, you know, commercials, billboards, ads, magazines, and all the other different ways that you're essentially paying to put your name out there, right? Now, both of them are equally as important. In the beginning stages, you probably won't be able to do as much paid marketing as, say, the bigger companies or other people in your industry, but that does not mean you should deter away from it, okay? Try to incorporate as much as both as you can. It doesn't even have to be, you know, 50-50. You can go overboard with one than the other, right? But as long as you're getting a good balance that's working for your business, that is the most important thing. You can't just do one, I promise you, because just doing organic that's not always going to work for the longevity. Just doing paid marketing, right? That still, in a way, is not always beneficial depending on your business type for the longevity. So creating a lead generation system. And th there are a lot more that can be a bit more detailed, but these are just a few of the main key points on how to create a lead generation system, right? I said this earlier, your target audience. You want to make sure that your are Identifying and defining your ideal customer profile, like I said, that ideal avatar, because it'll help you stay focused on the right audience with the right offer to who you're actually trying to talk about, right? Compelling offers. You want to make sure that you're creating valuable and relevant offers that incentivize the visitor to provide their contact information, because more than anything, right, getting that, that contact information, that lead is what can help push the sale on that later down the line. These offers can obviously include ebooks, white papers, webinars, free trials, demos, and a lot of the other examples that I uh, gave you all earlier, okay? Now, this may seem redundant to say, but believe it or not, a lot of people do not have this. Landing pages. Landing pages is probably the most important part in lead generation system. 
Because if you don't have a landing page, how can you actually acquire somebody's contact information, right? If there is no place like to for them to go and just type in their information, how are you actually going to be able to target people, right? So, and it doesn't even have to be a super outlandish and, and super detailed landing page. If you haven't heard of it already, Fiverr.com is probably one of the best places. And, and for the people who are in VIP, they heard us talking about uh, virtual assistants and virtual assistants. If you don't know what it is, it's somebody that who can anything that's done online and digitally, you can hire somebody to do and you can hire somebody to do that for your business, right? So it's basically just hire somebody to do something for you in your business, but they're just working virtually.